<laughs> yeah, hug life. Sit down, Byron. Don't touch me. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from San Jose, California, one half of the Tag Team Champions, Bailey. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. It's just an infectious feeling when Bailey comes to town, when Bailey competes. Everybody's feeling hug life, except Corey. And her partner from Boston, Massachusetts, one half of the WWE Women's Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has made a great deal of history here in WWE. Competed in the first ever Women's Hell in a Cell match, multiple time Raw Women's Champion. Corey, I don't understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. You ever talk to her? She's intolerable. Corey's just jealous. He wishes he had half the bling that Sasha has. These girls. And Who doesn't? Tony, I don't. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics. Byron, you only harbor ill will toward Peyton and Billy because you can't sit with them in catering. Uh, absolutely not. I harbor ill will towards them because I've never seen. Two ladies who derive so much joy from gossiping and tossing shade at anyone they choose. Well, Peyton and Billy simply enjoy one another's company and spreading the good word around the locker room. Look, I might not be a huge fan of their personalities, but they do have an incredible story. Started out together in Sydney, Australia, came to WWE, signed their contracts at the same time, and now here they are, ready to compete on the big stage. You must have read about that on the internet, Saxton, because I know Peyton and Billy don't talk to you. Look at this. The Iconics shining bright on pay-per-view. Stunning. And controversial. And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. And guys, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every week. A lot of times you see Damn. champs dial it back a bit when the title's not on the line, but I don't expect to see that from her here. DDT! Look out, look out! This could be it! She better do something fast. And she breaks free! I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. A bit. I don't know about you guys, but I did not expect to see her in so much trouble here tonight. You better be careful not to get disqualified. Ooh. Oh man, what a double knee strike. 
right to the sternum. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Harsh impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when Peyton Royce walks out wearing that iconic T-shirt, you can hear an audible groan from the crowd. I haven't noticed, but I'm sure they're just jealous, Cole. The fact of the matter is, when you look and perform like Peyton Royce does, you should absolutely have a high opinion of yourself. When it comes to Peyton Royce's opinion of herself, Jeez. I partially agree with Corey. Yes, she should have self-confidence, but to call herself iconic? I don't know. That seems like a word that should be reserved for the likes of, I don't know, Trish Stratus and Mae Young. Who are you to decide who's an icon and who's not, Saxton? If Peyton Royce wants to call herself iconic, that's exactly what she should do, period. You know, I've known Bailey for a long time, and it pains me to say how susceptible she is to being betrayed. For some reason, her trust and kindness become a weakness that many superstars have exploited. Three. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Observing how Bailey is constantly being betrayed as Byron did. Bailey in full control here. Oh, nice suplex. So impressive. She's looking at it. She better do something fast. All oh, right, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. What a stomp. Good grief. Corey, we know Bailey can be a threat in the women's division, but her game isn't without its flaws. How should her opponent expose those? We've seen Bailey lack killer instinct. She won't go where other women often will. Take her to a place where she's uncomfortable, a place where her only chance to win would require ruthlessness, and watch her indecision destroy her. That smart observation, Court. Oh, here it comes! Bailey, Bailey to belly! Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. What are we gonna see here? She's going to be feeling that one for a while. Ooh-wee. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Boom. Wow, what a gritty performance. Ah, oh, look, Billy Kay's in position. She might have it. Eludes that one. She better do something fast. Michael. 
A quick reversal by Bailey. What's coming next? What a slam! Impactful on Jari's spine. Oh, here it comes! Oh. Belly to belly! This one is over. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, you're gonna love Peyton oh, Royce. Oh. That spinning leg lariat. She has got to take advantage here. That's how you keep your opponent off balance, Cole. And it's reversed. Oh, the reversal by Bailey. Here comes Bailey. Oh, nice. Shut it down. Wow, kicking butt and taking names. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Double underhook suplex. I've made it quite clear how offensive I find Bailey's hugs, but I will admit the Bailey to belly suplex will take you right out of your boots. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. She's definitely, she goes for the cover. It's perfect that Bailey's big move, the belly to belly, shows just how precise and powerful Bailey can be. When the hugger plants the opposition with her twist on the classic suplex, it's all over. I remember when Bailey gave Nia Jax a super Bailey to belly off the middle rope in NXT. And when Bailey was on Team Raw at the 2016 Survivor Series, the Bailey to belly on Becky Lynch sealed the victory for her team. Hugs all around. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. She's starting to falter here. If she's not careful, she's gonna find herself in some serious trouble here. I don't know how much longer she can go on absorbing all this punishment. She needs to find a way to make it to her corner and make the tag. That's what you call a bad landing. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Bailey has her in her sights. Oh, here it comes! Bailey can end it here. She goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, what impact! Sasha Banks is tagged in. in your face as it gets. Boom, what impact! Looking for the exclamation point! Sasha! Oh, 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 oh. Victory is on the horizon. The boss is giving some serious orders right now. Bankrupt! That's it. That's what she needed. Another one. 
Could the third time be the charm, Byron? I think so. The Venus flytrap. Bad news for the boss. Oh, man, Sasha Banks is in trouble. What a tag team display. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. That's a woman on a mission. I remember this part very well. She's taking care of business. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. Here are your winners, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics. What a back and forth battle that was. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. And it's matches like this one that makes SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us.